What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Black Hawa. And welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Black Hawa. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the pizza quesadilla. And you're saying, Black Hawa, is it a pizza? Is it a quesadilla? It's both. And to get it done, we've got to get started. So, let's begin. Danke. <laughs> That's right, baby, the pizza quesadilla. And you're saying to yourself, like, oh, it kind of looks like you've uh, already started without us again. What's your problem, man? Well, I can't wait on you. You were probably in there smoking dope watching the Rugrats. So, I had to get started. But I will take some time and show you how it's done correctly. So, first thing that you got to do, get you a tortilla. And today, I got some old Mission tortillas. Look fancier than usual, why you ask? Because couldn't find the cheapo, so had to do it. But that's the thing about this meal. It is a cheap meal, it's a quick meal, and it's perfect because the kids are going back to school like Billy Madison. So you want to make something good, you don't want a lot of work, and you can't spend too much dough because you were out there buying them Lisa Frank uh, book binders. So we're going to take a slug of the mango to calm ourselves down from the back to school blues. Oh, that did it. And we will start uh, putting this together. Now, you need to get you some sus, boy. Some good sauce. Today, I've just got the old traditional pasta sauce. You can use marinara. You can use uh, a number of things. But if we're doing it this way, this is the way we're doing it. <laughs> so, <laughs> get you a couple scoops. And for me, I'm going to put a lot of scoops because I like it saucy, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Ew, so. Once you get your sauce on there, go ahead and take your bun and spread it out just on one side. Don't worry about the other side. It's kind of like a uh, two-faced pizza. So, go ahead and spread it out on that one side. Once you've got that good and covered, I actually think I need just a little more foam. That'll do it. Tap, tap, tap. Back you go. Now, next thing that you need. Wow, that tastes good. Cheese. It's that Belvita shredded cheese. Had it left over, see? Cheapy, cheapy. So, take some of that and sprinkle it right on top of that bad dude right there once again. You can use any type of cheese that you want. You can use as much or as little as you want, but you know me, baby. I want it hefty defty, so. Then, let's go ahead and put a little pepperoni on there, so. Now, once again, chicken, beef, sausage, whatever you like, you know. You can even go as far as to put like onions and green peppers and kind of make a whole supreme deal. But uh, you know me, baby. I get time for that shit, so pepperoni it is. And also, you can know, it, for a quick little after school snack while they're in there watching, uh, I don't know, what would they watch back in my day after school? Probably Arthur. So, uh, you know, you could just do cheese. So we're gonna line that pepperoni on top, just like this. There again, I'm going heavy duty, buddy. Then, I want you to fold like me in a poker game when the stakes are too high. And kind of give it a little press down. That's just to help it seal. Now, we've got our pan hot. I'm hot. I'm also thirsty. Excuse me. Wow. So, let's grab our quesadilla by the ends and very gently, sir, place it down in there with your hands. Now, this is not going to take long to cook at all. Make sure you keep an eye on it, you know. Uh, you let it sit in there, and about the time that you have done uh, the chorus of Madonna's Material Girl, it's gonna be done. So, let's sing. We are living in a material world, and I am a material girl. Oh, you know I'm living in a material world, and I am that material girl. Material! Woo! So, go ahead and take your flipper and gently, 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 gently flip. Because you don't want to lose any of the good stuff that's inside, you know, just like all of you. 
you got some good stuff inside you. That's why you're here with me tonight. So, you are going to let this cook until you get a nice toasty brown color. When it's done, we will take it out. We will put it on a plate. We'll do a little cutting. And I'm going to have a sight. I'm going to have a bite. And I might even do a little dance tonight about this pizza. Guess again. To Brenda. Alright baby, the time has come. The pizza quesadilla is done. And I'm having that first bite for me. So excuse me while I do the quesadilla. Whoa, ho, ho, buddy. I gotta finish that sucker. One minute, one minute. Wow, man. That is so good. So easy, but such a classic taste. You know, it almost reminds me of those pizzas we used to get back in school on Pizza Friday. They used to, the Tony's Pizza. It's almost got that same exact flavor. So, wonderful tie-in. Perfect. And I want to thank all of you wonderful, perfect people for watching another episode of Cooking with Black Hawa. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media. You can also watch all my other cooking videos right here on my YouTube channel. Now, y'all have a good one. Enjoy them pizza quesadillas. And I will see you next time, buddy boy. Ooh, it's like a little slice from him. Oh, my God.